Hey YouTube, my New Year's resolution for this year is to make the videos that I'd planned to make that I find the most important. And one of those topics that I find the most important is preventing resource guarding in young puppies. This video is an exercise to play with young puppies to prevent toy guarding. Now I'm going to continue to make videos of different exercises to prevent resource guarding in young puppies. These exercises are not meant as a plan for a puppy with severe fear issues and severe resource guarding, and these are not exercises to play with adult dogs that have severe resource guarding issues, because what's needed for these two different topics, uh, severe resource guarding in puppies and adult dogs, is a personal plan for that specific dog rather than just following the video because if you go too fast too quickly you could actually do more damage than good so what you need to do is find a professional dog trainer who uses only positive reinforcement and counter conditioning to solve the problem and get advice to let them help you through the problem toy guarding prevention exercise for puppies in this footage, this nine-week-old puppy is not very happy about having a hand reach towards the toy that he's playing with, without any previous training. Step 1. Give your puppy a low-value toy. If your puppy's not interested in the toy, you can play with your puppy to get him interested in the toy again. Step 2. Walk towards your puppy, drop a high-value treat next to him, and walk away. The point of this simple exercise is to use counter conditioning to change the puppy's emotional response to an approaching human when he's playing with his toy. Practice approaching and dropping treats from different angles. What you should be seeing after a couple of repetitions is that your puppy happily drops the toy and looks at you expectantly when you walk towards him when he's playing with a toy. If this isn't happening, here are some things you can try. Use a higher value treat like real meat or cheese. Use a lower value toy or something that isn't even a toy. Toss the treats towards the puppy from a distance at first. Practice the step of approaching and dropping a treat in multiple training sessions using different toys. First, starting with low value toys and then moving to the toys your puppy likes the best. Step three. Reach towards the toy, say yes as you reach, then feed a treat. Yeah. Step four, reach and touch the toy, say yes as you touch it, then feed a treat. Step five, say yes as you pick up the toy, then feed a treat, and then give the toy back. Yep. Here's footage of before the training session slowed down. As a hand reaches towards the puppy, the puppy gets very tense. After the first training session of just a couple of minutes, you can see this puppy's behavior has changed drastically. In my opinion, this exercise is a great way to prevent behavioral problems down the line, as well as a great trust building exercise. Something pretty amazing happened at the end of this specific training session. Lumos, the border collie puppy, who usually wanted to play keep away with a ball, fetched the ball to the handler for the very first time. Great behaviors to teach your new puppy to help prevent guarding issues are drop it, leave it, eye contact, and bring it. Some dogs have a tendency to guard and others don't. If you have a puppy with a tendency to guard, remember that it can be more likely to happen when the dog is in a new situation or stressed. A dog with guarding issues needs to have a management and prevention program in place to prevent guarding in the future. Seek professional help if needed. A great book on guarding is Mine by Jean Donaldson. 